John Deere has brought four prototype machines to the Equip Expo to kind of show off their electric future. We're going to try our best to relate the information that some of the Deere representatives have told us about these four machines. We'll go into as much detail as we can and provide a little opinion as well. Let's get started. Let's start with this tractor. I think it will be the most interesting for you, our viewers, because that's what we focus on most as tractors. I think this is the earliest prototype of, of all of these. In other words, it's not very functional yet. I don't think this tractor even runs. Uh, I don't think it can propel itself. Um, so it is just that. It's a, it's a show prototype. Now, I do like the, the new design, the new hood design. Who knows, that may roll itself out into the, to the diesel engines as well. Um, the LED lights, they've changed that a little bit on the front so that the, the, the hood and all works with those narrow LED lights. I think they look great. So the tractor, I don't believe it's going to be the earliest item that we're going to be looking at, so it's hard to go a whole lot of detail on that. One thing the Deere representatives wanted to point out was that they're not moving away from diesel tractors. This is something that some of their uh, customers are going to want. You know, we have the California political situation that they've said you can't have sub-25 horsepower uh, internal combustion engines at all in, in, in a few years. So they, they've got to be moving toward this. That's why we're seeing uh, electric everything here at the show. So that's, that's just something that's in the background. They're not moving away from, from diesel overall. We'll, we'll be able to get our diesel engines. Um, we've had proven reliability for them for 100 years now, right? So, so wonderful, wonderful engines there. But they do have to move into the electric field. Let's look at some of the other equipment here that might be a little further along in development. Now what they're promising is that everything on this table will be in production by 2026. Okay, that's a long time. So we might say, does that mean nothing comes till 2026? No, that's, that's not what we're understanding. Of the four items we see, this zero turn, this Z-Track, is the closest to production. And just from the body language and some of the hints that I see, this is not very far off. I, I think we'll see this fairly soon. Uh, I'm not willing to put any dates on it because I couldn't get any dates from them. But I, I do believe this is the nearest uh, of, of the four items. This is a small Z-Track. I haven't talked to them about whether they're going to have anything bigger, you know, in the uh, larger uh, prosumer or, or commercial lines in this initial release or not. But this is what I found out about the first one. This is the ride-on zero turn. I really like the looks of this stand-on mower. My understanding is it's further off. Uh, it is capable of propelling itself is what they're telling me. So they drove it up on here, uh, battery powered. So that's, that's pretty cool. But it's not ready to go yet. It's, it's a little further off. It's, it's not going to be in the very first generation of their release. At least that's my gut feel based on what I'm hearing. Again, they're a bit vague. Uh, the marketing team is vague on what they're promising, and, and I get it. They don't know. Some of the things, even if they kind of do know an order, you just don't know where things are going to, to move and how quickly they're going to transpire. The design on this, I, I, I like the design again. They're specifically designed around the LED lights being thin and, and uh, it, it's just a sleek design. I, I, really, I really like the, the, the steel work on that. Now one thing you notice about any electric mower is that rather than having a belt drive, we always have electric motors here, right? So there's a lot less maintenance in any one of these electric type arrangements. No mechanical belts. Um, it, it's going to make the machine quieter in that way in addition to whatever engine uh, noise reduction there is, which should be a lot. But I think the lack of mechanical belt drives is, is going to be uh, one of the huge improvements with these electric drive units. Now we've seen some manufacturers, in fact, uh, a little story to, to share. Uh, there's an outside demo area uh, here at Equip Expo and they actually had to close it down early yesterday because there was a battery explosion. I'm, I'll name the manufacturer because it's not really their fault. It's uh, DeWalt has a 
a, a zero turn lawnmower or a ride on. I don't know whether it was a stand on or a, a, a sit on uh, mower, but it uh, kind of caught fire yesterday. The battery blew up. I don't have any video of it, but I did see some video. They had trouble putting the fire out, so they eventually closed the entire outdoor exhibit area. And it just kind of illustrates that, uh, yeah, there may be some, there may be some upcoming delays in, in getting this stuff released because some of the technology may not be quite as far along as what, as what people think it is. So I just know that Deere is a very conservative company and they're not going to release something that they have any concerns about. And they'll do more testing than some of the smaller companies. So pretty excited about that. Now we can tell from some things exposed here that this gator is functional. Um, it's, it's not just a prototype that, that is set up here on display just to look pretty. Uh, and several of the marketing folks said they have ridden around in this skater and, and have got to drive it. So it's in pretty good shape from, from everything that we hear. I don't know, again, what order it's going to come out, uh, but uh, this does seem fairly far along in the development cycle. I think we'll probably see some electric gators uh, in a reasonable time frame. Another reason I think we might see that is because we're seeing a lot of other brands come out with electric uh, UTVs. Uh, they're, they're all over the show floor this year, and so there's, there's a bunch of them. Now, a lot of you are asking about, is it really going to be useful to have some of this electric equipment? And, and my opinion on that is that uh, if you're using things for a couple of hours at a time max, uh, for instance, we use our Gator just to buzz back and forth. We don't use it a huge amount at any given time. I think an electric version would work fine. If you're using this stuff 12, 14 hours a day, I'm not sure that, that in the near term, the battery technology is gonna be far enough along, especially if these machines don't have removable, replaceable batteries so that you can just do a quick swap. Same thing is true with the one series tractor. Most of our viewers, use these tractors just an hour, two, three, four at a time. And I think that's going to be great. Uh, I, I think the quietness, the ability to run after hours and not cause uh, loud noises in these neighborhoods that have uh, evening noise ordinances, I think that's going to be wonderful. And I, I think maybe we just have to be a little careful about saying that it's going to take care of every application. That's just, again, my opinion. I'm not getting that from deer representatives. You know, they are consistently saying they're not going to release anything until it can run all day, right? So it'll, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. This is a fascinating angle on electric. This is called the TE Gator, and it's been in production since 1999. So from that standpoint, this electric technology is not new. Now, it's a lot different. These are traditional lead acid batteries, right? So nothing like what we're seeing today, but on the other hand, Electric drive vehicles are not new for deer, or, nor for anyone else as far as that goes in the show. It's, 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 it's been a technology that people have wanted for years because it's quiet, uh, because it doesn't have any emissions right there. You can run it inside around people um, with, with, you know, with no carbon monoxide and all that. So uh, there are applications and have been applications for electric equipment for years. 1999, I had no idea. That's right, there's a lot of hype at this show from Deere and from other manufacturers about electric equipment. Hopefully over the next year or so, we can help to bring some reality to that hype. What, what really works? What are the real capabilities? We're gonna try to show you that over the next year or so. It's, uh, it, it's not a political thing for us. We wanna know if the stuff really works and we know that's what you want as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's right, there's a lot. Oh, my goodness. It's like a, it's an echo chamber in here. <laughs>